job of the artist is to keep people tuned to the present. And if you're going to tune their sensibilities and their perceptions, you have constantly to rearrange the focusing of their perceptions. When you speed up the amount of information and the access to information, when you can put the whole big Oxford dictionary on a, and many more on a single electric drum and dial any word you'd like any instant, when you have instant access to every kind of data, data classification becomes a rather futile way of learning and teaching and pattern recognition becomes mandatory. It's the only way of coping with instant and total fields of data. There's a story of Edgar Allan Poe that has some relevance here called the Maelstrom. Poe tells about a fisherman, a sailor, who went out fishing. And um, in the late afternoon, ignoring the time and the signs, he got caught and he turned the tide in a great storm or well pulled it out. And um, he realized he couldn't uh, row out of it. And he began, fascinated, to watch the uh, action of the storm. And he noticed that some kinds of planks, timbers, and such were sucked down into his purpose, and other kinds of things tended to pop up again. He attached himself to one of these recurring forms and was saved. Pattern recognition. The job of the artist is to keep people tuned to the present. And if you're going to tune their sensibilities and their perceptions, you have constantly to rearrange the focusing of their perceptions. The art artist's job is to make it new at all times, not for the sake of novelty, but for the sake of relevance. Are you saying you just now woke up to all of this? <laughs>